One thing is that if today's content isn't what you're looking for, feel free to skip it or explore something else. Seriously, my eyes went like this, just like this. And I was... Hello everyone and welcome back to Stay with Fazana. I'm glad to have you all here. Whether you are tuning in for a quick update or just to spend a little time together, I appreciate your patience. One thing is that if today's content isn't what you're looking for, feel free to skip it or explore something else. But if you decide to stick around, then I hope you'll find a bit of enjoyment in today's video. So anyway, let's get started and see what do I have in today's video. So, little bit of backstory. In my previous video, I talked about my journey from London to Paris and then my arrival at this hotel. If you haven't seen my previous video yet, I will put the link in the description box. You can go and have a look. So, since I had a very tiny sleep at night and had to wake up so early in the morning to catch my flight, I felt like my energy had sunk beneath the depths of a vast ocean, just like her. Trust me, just like her. Anyway, after a hectic and busy morning, I finally found a moment of comfort in this lovely hotel room. And you know what? I thought it would be the perfect way to boost my energy. Of course, a delightful cup of tea, right? So here my tea was ready, which I paired with some delicious cookies guys before you ask me from where on earth i had this box of cookies well i made a quick grocery run near the hotel on my way here and that's how i got this box of cookies so tea was ready and i had that trust me it really boosted my energy After taking a brief rest and regaining a bit of energy, I decided it was time to step out and explore the area around the hotel. I was excited to see what this place had to offer. As you can see, I was all set to spend a little money and enjoy the surroundings. One thing that immediately caught my attention was the weather. It wasn't too hot, just perfectly pleasant. And let me tell you something, here I have noticed that most houses have terraces and I believe people can actually go there. In London, this is not the case. Most London houses have no terraces. The roofs are slanted, so there's no way for people to access them. The buildings here are mostly structured like the buildings in Asian countries. Alright guys, buckle up for the adventure. So there I was strolling around like a tourist ninja and guess what? I stumbled upon this open market extravaganza. Guess what? This market sets up only on Mondays and lucky me, I hit the jackpot and landed here on a Monday. Things got really spicy when I spotted this jewelry stall. I mean seriously, my eyes went like this, just like this. And I was like, OMG, these bling bling pieces are like hypnotizing me. And guess what? They were just hanging there with a price tag of 2 euros each. 2 euros, can you believe it? Just 2 euros. I practically felt like I hit a treasure chest without the map. Viewers at this market just reminds me of the open market in Green Street, London. That market also sets up on certain days of the week and it's very popular within the local community. So guys, soon the sun said to me, bye bye, I'm out, I have had a long shift and now I need some rest. So after saying bye bye to the sun, I felt so hungry that I was running like crazy to find a restaurant from where I could grab some food. Then I found this street that was like a foodie's paradise, restaurants everywhere calling out to me like food superheroes. But guess what? I ended up by going this one and do you know why? Cause they were serving Bengali food and I was like Bengali food here I come. <laughs> 
anyway guys the name of this restaurant is tasty time the food was really good and the staffs of this restaurant were very friendly as well I ordered thali on that day where they served six types of food. I really enjoyed the food and it really filled me up. So guys, it was then my time back to the hotel, though my day started in little rush, but at the end, it was a fun day. Also, my shopping experience from the open market was really awesome as well. So anyway, here's uh, me back to the hotel and this is the sitting area of the hotel where they serve breakfast in the morning. And here's me having chit chat with the chairs in the sitting area. You know, just your regular chit chat with the furniture. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. <laughs> anyway, thanks a million for hanging out with me on this short video. I know it wasn't a great video, but honestly speaking, I'm cooking up something awesome for my next video. So stick around, stay tuned for my next video. You guys take care of yourself. See you on my next video. Until then, bye-bye from Fazana.